really get away from it all to a palm island where it takes a tropical downpour to wake the crocodiles. If you think it's odd for a man to be feeding them, then you know nothing of South Sea customs, because there, young lovers face the lagoon and get their love wish granted by throwing a silver coin into the nearest rock pool. Somebody must keep on the right side of the crocodiles so that he can salvage the cash. But no, no, we haven't had to pay for a cruise in the Pacific Ocean. We've only come a few footsteps away from the lights of Piccadilly. This is the Mayfair Hotel's new beachcomber restaurant, which has converted itself into a colourful night spot that the teenagers feel they can afford once in a while and treat as a geography lesson without tears or transport. Fancy a Kalua kiss? It's a Fijian rum concoction, smooth to the lips. Or a buccaneer's tortuga, a zombie, or a missionary's downfall? There'll be the flora and the fauna of the Polynesian islands around, whatever you settle for. All within that famous stone's throw, remember? There's the right medicine man for me, Tim Brinton, I said to myself when I made a visit to this faraway bar. It's another of Pictorial's magic carpet routes to romantic places. Only you can do it on foot. I'm dreaming of my time. That's the Tahitian carver bow, guaranteed to lubricate friendship and make it run real smooth. The only tears shed here are tears of happiness, or crocodile tears, because this is a Blue Lagoon escape to a lot of fun. suckling pig, if you can face the little fellow's eyes under the hypnotic influence of the hula dancer. They'll supply you with your own personal unused chopsticks to take home and practice with. If you're prepared to set the Thames on fire and burn good strong rum, you can join the pirates with a flaming coffee grog, the compelling end to an exotic away from it all evening. There's nothing for it, the mood is catching, and you've just got to join in and shake your Hawaiian-style hips. 